tremble? Are you the man? Are you the man? Where are you at? I got you, I got you. Give the health care, I guess? Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina! Ya para qué? Whatever, bro. Yeah, I don't care. How I try to help you and you slap the, the stuff out of my hand? I'm past medicine. Well, you're welcome for trying to help you. Ungrateful bastard. Can't, can't stand an ungrateful person. That shit annoying. It's so trash. It's me. Yeah, I'm alive. Barely. Take that off. John, what you talking about? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this. Oh no. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. Blame Dutch for that. That's all you came to tell me? Something our well the box I ain't know about. I hope God can forgive me for what I've done on this earth, because ain't much I'm proud of. Yeah, I bet it's not. Give me the letter. I don't wanna examine the flower. I don't want no cigarettes. Cigarettes are the last thing I need right now. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, huh? and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. What? I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. That's some big words. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> you again. I thought I was done with y'all. Good night, Tilly. I should go to sleep myself. But, I mean, I just went far away from my, my bed anyway. You're all the way down there. Jesus. Marco. Oh, man. Let me do this Micah mission real quick. Then I'll, like, do everyone else. These idiots. I hate Micah so much. 
trash. He's a trash character. to the hideout. Back up. Where the other one at? to leave this area I mean then again we ain't got we ain't really got nowhere else to go but these motherfuckers keep attacking bro and it's really getting on my nerves that's like the third one the third or fourth one actually like y'all just losing people at this point talking about some here piggy piggy Where's he at? Is he in here? Was you followed? No, was you followed? I said. And if you don't get off me. Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? Don't uh. You don't look so good. What is wrong I can still shoot a gun, though. With me, I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We's only. We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe oh time my God, for folks this like dude. us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk. And they know who we are and where we are and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen. And fast. Otherwise, Cornwall... Them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave time to go. Alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I'm so tired of them. I just want to live and then die with my tuberculosis in peace. Say to him that needs to be said. He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. Right. I wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither right. Well, why didn't you do anything about it then? What are you talking about? We want out. And Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. 
a deal, some noise, and we're gone. It's never that simple with you, though. Something always goes wrong with these plans of yours. We're waited out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. Oh, I'm sorry. Behind something before you're spotted. Shut up. Talking to me. Something's definitely gonna go wrong. I definitely could have slept if this was the case. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent M considerable oh. fortune in your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. So Cornwall, Cornwall and the Pinkertons here. Sir, send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Good Ross. day to you, sir. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense two that will bring figs. a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What, what are you, you doing? Mean, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. You are. This poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob. And you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Jesus. Noise, Arthur! Noise! Boom, that's all. Ah, shit! Pinkertons! Duh! What the hell have you done, Dutch? Duh! Did you not see Milton there? He talking about... Oh, shit! Pinkertons! Yeah. N no. Oh, my God. I hate this dude. Idiot. Awesome. Idiot. I missed every shot. We should not even be doing this. 
But you know Dutch, he always has a plan. Thanks for the heads up, I guess. Shut up! I'm killing him. I'm killing him. And what are on these papers? What do these papers say, Dutch? I'm just curious. Yeah, I follow orders too. Except when they're fucking stupid. Getting a lot of headshots, low key. What are you doing? Come on, we can take the horses from that coach. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, have lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly. Not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. Where else are we gonna go? go right. Ugh. What is this paper? Social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. 
Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just exactly. need a distraction. Buy us some time. Distraction, he says. Buy us some time, he says. Cornwall's company. They signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, if you look into this dynamite, take Bill, I guess, Arthur. Bill and dynamite don't need to be need near each up. other. And Mike, yeah, clearly, y'all didn't figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Oh Getting out my of here. God. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up. I want to kill yeah. him. This is crazy. I know, Arthur. I know. These two idiots. Uh, I'm actually frustrated. What does he want? Mike is over here. He's over here. Man, let me talk to him. I need a. I need a break. From these imbeciles. No, wait, 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 wait. What is that? What just happened? Hey, man. Hey, Buell. How you doing? How you doing? You okay? Beautiful horse. The door's open. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Let's go to my boat. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Where we're rolling. I said rolling. I just messed up my joke. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Once we the know tyrant. Where the lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha ha. The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lore I gave you? Oh, uh, yeah. This one? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. I guess. Slowly. Whoa, what's 
this. Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> hey, um, hey, you need Come on now, Tyron, I got you. He gonna fall in, ain't he? Still got it. You lost anything? <laughs> it's just my rod. <clears throat> we got my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want I mean, you have. I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. He sounds so defeated. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. <coughs> I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Catch back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Boop. Now reel a might quicker. Hey, hey! I think I hooked him. Reel. Let's land the bastard. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it in now. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Yes. Out of line quickly, real. Uh, Golly. Jesus Christ. That took longer than it should have. Sorry, it took longer than it should have. That's what I'm sorry for. Let's row back. Jesus Christ. That took too long. Here, here. Oh, the holder. It was this big. That is if you sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so yeah. Long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Oh, that means that there's going to be another mission. That took way too long, bruh. Wanted to do that. Um. <sighs> fine. What do you want? You 
eventually I'll go to to uh, Braithwaite, whatever her name was. I forgot her first name. Reverend, what's up, man? No. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm there, Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. You want? We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then to Is it north, Islands, technically east? New Guinea, dancing girls, or... freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. You said you this already. You don't scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? No, I'm not. Pardon me for interrupting. What? I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. Hmm. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? Oh, now do money like doesn't matter to you. I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Arthur looks so sick. So sick. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. There are <laughs> enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. Colonel Favors. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. Piece of shit. Today, today, He's a piece of shit. My word on this that. Colonel Favors. Don't worry, we'll take care of that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? Right, what do you care? Shoot fellers as need shooting, we save fellers as need saving, feed them as need feeding. Oh, now you care about this? It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop <laughs> questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. 
Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a a lot probably. Now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more school. Bro. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite? The railroad contract with the army? It was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. <sighs> just doing these plans, I swear. I have a plan. Yeah, we all got plans, Dutch. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. Spooky. Why am I the only one rolling? Rolling. Rowing. We need to get that boat ashore. You see how both of them rowing? Why y'all we'll not rowing? We'll I'm the sick one. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck, yeah, I guess. Hurry up, move. What the fuck? I am alongside. What is you talking about? That dude don't hear us. Wow. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I like how it says stealth knockout, but it sounded like I cracked his neck. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Is he coming this way? Oh, extra loud. Man, how am I going? <laughs> Crazy. We can go higher than that. God damn it, no. I'm out. Why my controller keep vibrating? Oh, that's why the horses did all of that. Charles, what are you doing? Move!
For Christ. He's gone back right now. We can't let that last one get away. Throw hands. I like how he getting shot <laughs> while I'm beating on him. Release the anchor. Plant dynamite. Oh, I guess. All right, you said so. Come on, Arthur. Go, 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 go. Titanic style. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Boys, all right, back there. This man never drove a boat before. Can't even use my lasso. I am pressing triangle. Over here, come on. Low key did not know horses could swim. I'm dumb like that, so. Man, this water is pushing me to the left, bro. How did they get over there so fast? What was that? Turn the horses to my men. Oh, let me guess. That's yeah. Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. What? This is the only idea, and it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? 
Oh my god. Sure. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behaviors. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, Charles, I know. Let's go, girl. Yep. Dutch is really getting on my nerves. I'm really starting to hate him. Oh, would you look at that? Micah is right there. Obadiah Hinton. Who is... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think I know who that is. I don't know. 